It's one of the greatest natural spectacles there is. A fire curtain, sheets of molten lava surging from a fissure in the earth. Why Iceland? Well, it sits right on top of one. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a 10,000 mile long seam where rising magma is creating new ocean floor, pushing continents apart. And the Reykjanes Ridge on Iceland is where part of it comes to the surface. In October, after a swarm of small earthquakes, a crack about 15 kilometers long opened up, running right through the fishing port of Grindavik, leading to its evacuation, but also threatening the Blue Lagoon geothermal spa, popular with tourists, and more seriously, a geothermal power plant located here. So far, it's just this four kilometer section of the fissure out of which lava is now surging, and that flow is decreasing. How long will it last? Well, the eruption is being fed by a subterranean river of magma called an intrusion. The eruption appears to have taken pressure out of this system, but nothing certain and more magma could be forced to the surface with lava emerging from other parts of the fissure. At its peak, lava at 1,200 degrees centigrade was spewing from the fissure at 200 cubic meters a second. That's four times the average flow of water down the River Thames. And there's a potential risk from toxic sulfur dioxide gas that might get carried to population centers by the wind. But effusive eruptions, as these are known, tend to cause just local disruption. Not so explosive ones. This was last year's Tonga eruption viewed from space. Volcanic ash from these events can shut down air travel, as happened when Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull erupted in 2010, leading to week-long disruption for around 10 million travelers in Europe and North America. Large eruptions can even cause changes in global climate. All the more reason to sit at a safe distance and admire what is, for now at least, one of Iceland's most benign and beautiful eruptions.